Today we're going to check out the various FireTech rail options and configurations, including some cool prototype rails and a handy rail tester. Keep watching! The FireTech system consists of firing modules. In this case, I have a 48FX module that controls 48 cues and rails. This rail here is a 12 q rail, right now connected to rail 4. The first purchase I made of the FireTech system a number of years ago was this 48E module, and this still is compatible with the new 48FX modules. And it came with these black rails here with the RJ45 connector and 12 cues with these clips. This is the FT12 rail. Later, FireTech came out with the FT12L rail here. This is one of the first ones here. It has the new translucent clips here, and there's an integrated LED inside of it, which I'll talk about more in, in a moment. And then they came out with the FT12LX rail here. And this is the LX rail right here. This has integrated LEDs as well with the translucent clips. And the LEDs on these boards are red. And the board is a black board. Now what comes standard is this rail here. And this rail is the FT12 LS. LS because it has tra the translucent clips with an integrated parallel splitter. So you can split the rails. Here's another rail here by simply connecting the next rail on the output. And if you look closely here, you can see the LEDs pulsing on the rails. Let me turn down the lights here for a moment. Okay, with the lights out, you can see the LEDs pulsing on the rail. This happens when the module is in test mode. I'm going to unplug this here for a moment. When you set up your rails, let's say we plug this MJG firewire here into Q4. We're going to plug this into the module, put this back into test mode. You can see the lights pulsing. But on 4 there, the LED is not pulsing. That's because we have continuity through the igniter. If this were to come loose, you would see the LED now pulsing. Now this is a benefit in the FireTech system in that if you have your rail set up and when you go into test mode and you see the LEDs pulsing, it gives you an indication whether or not you have an issue with continuity on that queue. FireTech now has these FT12QLX rails with this dual channel quick clip connector. This also has the integrated LEDs onto the side there that function the same way as these standard rails. And that when you have a connection, Here on Q3, you can see the LED is no longer pulsing. If that connection were to come loose and you lose continuity, the LED starts pulsing again when it's in test mode. These 12QLX quick clip rails also include an integrated splitter which allows you to put rails in parallel by just connecting on the output. And you can daisy chain a number of rails together. There is also an FT24RX that has 24 cues. It has dual inputs on it for two rails out of the module. I don't have one there, but here's a picture of what that looks like. There are also these FT12L FireTech selectable 2Q rails 
but this allows you to connect and then select two channels. You can select channels one through six by moving this tab here. And on this queue here, you can select channels seven through 12. And you can daisy chain these together if needed. You have some single items or just a few items you want to spread out on a front, you can use these selectable two Q rails. There's also modules with onboard options. The FTH 48 QX is one of those with 48 onboard cues of single contact quick clips. And here's a picture of what that looks like here. There is also 16 Q modules. This one has four onboard quick clips and also uses a 12Q rail. So another thing I'm excited to show is a handful of some prototype rails. This here is a newer FT12QLS rail. This rail here has the single contact quick clips, 12 of them. It'll have the same integrated LED rails. It's got the integrated splice so that you can um, daisy chain rails together. The other thing that this has is it has an integrated hanging option. Now to show that hanging option here, I've got one of my 30 millimeter racks. Let's see if I can get this in the picture here. And you can hang that rail on the rack. This is a handy feature for these rails here. While I'm at it, I'll show what I've typically been doing is I just have Velcro on my back of my rails and the standard rails I can just attach with Velcro, which is real easy to remove. Based on this FT12 QLS rail here, there is also a version of a prototype version of that that uses like banana clips. Uh, one of the things that uh, FireTech has looked at is, is some different prototype options here on uh, this one here with the uh, banana clip connectors. The last prototype rail I have to show is this 24Q rail that's designed, if needed, to be attached to the side of the modules. These connectors here have these convenient levers on them, which are very easy to use and allow you to insert the wires and then lock the wires in place with these levers. It has a locking jaw and these levers kind of have a cam over feature that holds the wires in very tight. And I'll do a test here showing how sturdy that connection is. Now before we do that test, another item I wanted to show is this rail tester. Now let's say you have your rails set up. We'll use this FT12QLX rail here. And let's say we've got these connected and you wanna test this rail. Now I've attached this here to Q8. With this rail tester, you can test the two banks of cues on these rails. You push down to test channels one through six, and you see the LEDs light up. Now, like I showed before, when you don't have continuity, the LEDs will, will light up. It's just like what we see in test mode on the modules. We push up here, we can check channels seven through 12, and here you see on channel eight, we don't have a lighted LED indicating that we have continuity. If this were to come loose, that light would come on. This gives us a way to test continuity on individual rails without having the module. And this is something you could do as pre-show setup to check rails attached to racks or uh, 
single boards, whatever that setup may be. Again, we'll plug this back in, do a test again. Q8 LED is not lit up, indicating that we have continuity here with this igniter. So again, a, a nice little device that FireTech has come up with to um, ensure that your setup is done properly. Besides the integrated splitters on the rails, there are also options for these three-way splitters that FireTech provides. This allows for an input from the module where then you could connect up to three rails in parallel. And here we have all three rails. I don't know if you can see closely there, but right now it's in test mode and the LEDs are pulsing on all three of those rails. And all of these rails will work one with another. You could take an original rail and connect it to one of these quick clip rails or put it with the three-way splitter and connect it in parallel with other, other rails. They're all interchangeable. Okay, I've taken this new prototype 24Q rail and I've removed the side panel on the module here and installed that onto the module. And it's just connected to the outputs of the module with some jumper cables here. And what I want to do is do a couple of tests here showing the, the strength and durability of these connectors. So first, this module weighs, I don't know, a pound and a half, two pounds. And so this is a firewire here. Haven't doubled these back. And we're going to just connect these here. Just insert them and pull those cams back. I'm going to do a little test here, just dangling this here, bouncing it around. All right, it's a nice sturdy connection. Um, to release it, you just lift those cams up and they come right out. And we'll do that test again here, just with uh, one wire this time. I'm going to insert that, pull the cam down, locking cam down. And again, we're dangling the module by just that one wire. It really locks in place real firmly. And again, to release it, just flip the cam up and it comes loose immediately. Okay, I wanted to do another test here, this time a pull test. Um, so we're gonna connect two wires in there, lock them in place. And this time what we're going to do is attach a fish scale um, so I have a fish scale here tied to the wire. You get a hold of this here. It's kind of awkward to hold on to this. We're just going to pull straight out from the connector. 10 pounds. About 12 pounds. All right. I feel like if I pull any farther, I'm going to break the connector off the board. But 10 pounds, 12 pounds is pretty, pretty solid connection there. Some of the wires, as you're probably aware, are different gauges, right? So the fire wire, these are 24 gauge. Um, some of the scab wires here, probably 24. This is probably 22 gauge here. Some of the Pro items come with probably 26 gauge wire. Now this wire here, this is one of the black wires that come off of like a strobe or a flame pot. Um, you want to double it back, just like you would on other connectors too, but double it back on itself to make sure you get a real strong connection. All right, the last thing I wanted to do here is time how quickly I can use these connectors here to connect um, all 24 cues here. So I'm going to start this stopwatch here and I'm going to use talent igniters simply because I have a bunch of them 
and I didn't want to unwind the shunt on a bunch of E-matches or uh, MJG Firewires. I'd rather do that on these talons here. So it will provide the same purpose, showing how quickly you can connect everything on these, uh, on these new rails. I'm not going to fold the wires back either. I'm just going to um, pull the insulator off, make sure the wires are split, and connect them into the, the locking cams. So here we go. Oh, those ones are extra long. We'll trim them back real quick. All right, there's one bank. All right, that's four minutes and 43 seconds for all 24 cues there. The next thing I want to show is how quickly these can be removed, um, which is a huge benefit during teardown after the show. So you can very easily just get in here and flip these all up, multiple at a time, and these just all come right out doesn't get much easier than that. Again, just flip them all up and they all come loose. Now there's a quick test. Now, now one thing to, to keep in mind, if you've got a smaller gauge wire, um, you want to double them back on themselves, you know, depending on your wire gauge, just inserting them and, and uh, paying attention to getting it in the center of the jaw there. It's real quick and simple and provides a very easy teardown. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting with the, the new rails, the rail tester, and these quick, convenient locking cam 24Q rails.